Hey, this is Kevin Phillips again, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to be using this uh, terrain here that I've created in World Machine to demonstrate a strategy for dealing with normal maps or plane armor normal maps and deform geometry like this. Now, the problem with using normal maps, and you'll find in here, I have a nice normal map uh, for this terrain that gives me all my additional details, such as uh, all these channels that run down the side and so forth, uh, is this. If I go to the surface editor and I go in here and I say 2D textures, let's add our normal map to the terrain. Okay, it's a planar map. And we'll slot that in. There we go. What happens here is it looks fine down here, and you think, oh, yep, that's nice, extra detail. But on the very steep, um, parts of the geometry or the ones that go vertically the planar map is stretching so it's generating these nasty artifacts so what we need to do here is the easiest fix is to basically mask out the normal maps from anything that's steep or anything that's uh, vertically deformed or displaced like this so I go back to my surface editor and it's fairly straightforward what we do is we'll add a gradient We'll say uh, gradient. Okay, let's double click on that and we'll say the input is slope. Now a gradient uh, that uses the input of slope treats uh, the top key as flat and the bottom key as like a 90 degree angle. So what I'm going to do is for this top key where it's flat, I'm going to click show input and I'm just going to slot the normal map into that. And I'm just going to plug in the color so we can illustrate what's happening here. Okay, so color, and we can see our normal map here. Okay, so it's kind of stretching up here. Okay, if I just turn off that snow for a sec. Okay, and I'm using a legacy shader here for the snow. It does a quite a nice job. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, so we can see the effect of the normal map. Okay, we've got all our little bits here, and we've got all the bits here that look okay, and this bit stretching in kind of nasty ways. So let's get back to our surface editor. And in our gradient, let's just make another key where it will be steep. That's here. And let's change this color to maybe white so it just stands out. Okay, so I'm getting the normal map here. And you notice it's fading up to here where it's very steep. We're getting kind of a whitish gray color. So it might be just a case of. Uh, refining that so let's uh, move that up okay so it kind of fades out like that so it's only quite flat areas okay that's a little bit better so we've built a gradient that's going to basically mask out the normal map to only happen or occur on the flatter areas so we get rid of the artifacting that we had here before so how do we plug that into uh, into our normals just to control that instead because we're not really driving the colors from this. Well, the easiest way that uh, I've found is we take this one uh, here, the white one, we go show output so we can plug something in here. And the thing we need is under spot, spot info. Okay, this returns the uh, the normal, the smooth normal for the particular piece of geometry that we're shading at the time. So it's as simple as saying, well, it's a smooth surface, so let's grab a smooth normal, plug it in here. Okay. Yeah, nice smooth color. And then we're going to plug this into normal. Now, this isn't going to work because you can't plug a color into a vector. So we need to convert that color into a vector so that we can uh, drive the normals from it. And that the easiest way to do that is under math vector. I just throw in a scale node. Okay, plug it in here, and then plug this into normal, and we end up with our normal map on these flatter areas, so we get all our detail, and the normal map actually removed from these details just so that we don't get that kind of odd artifacting. Now let's just turn on our snow. Here we go. And voila, there's a nice strategy that you can use just for little um, situations such as this one. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll catch you in the next video.